Yes, yes. Oh, I'm so excited right now because we got a couple of things. This video is going to turn your floppy into a solid state drive. XPS 15 and XPS 17. We know everything. Woof. Woof. I hope you're all doing well in your isolation. Now, the XPS 15 and 17, we got some good news, but we pretty much know everything about the XPS 15 now. We definitely know the CPUs, we know the GPUs, and something that is just epic. We're also going to talk about the XPS 17 too. Wow. Now, if you guys know any, come on, sub up, join the Wii Train, hit that bell, hit all notifications, because if you like the XPS 15, I'm going to test it like no one else. Now, Courtesy, of course, of RO Game. If you don't follow him on Twitter, what are you doing? You would have known all the benchmarks of the Ryzen CPUs and the latest 10th generation Intel CPUs, RTX Supers. You would have already known all that stuff if you followed RO Game. Oh, and while I remember, those people that keep on asking me where you can buy those cheap Windows 10 Pro upgrades and Office 2019, look in the description. I've even got a discount code for you. So, what do you want to know about first? CPU, GPU, display, <laughs> display. Well, anyway, let's have a quick look here. These are the user benchmarks. And by the way, it says model 9700. I'm guessing like this would be a pre-production unit and whatever, just baked in an old code name. But we can see Intel 10th generation CPUs, Ultra HD graphics. In this case, we have Micron SSD and we have RAM that is 3200 at 2933 megahertz. I'll get to that in a sec. We also have here on another run on a Dell XPS 15 GTX 1650 Ti, four gigabytes. This part does not exist yet. So that's a new thing. We'll talk about that in a sec. Not only that, have a look at the resolution of that display. What does that mean? 16 by 10 or wolf. Yes, the dream, the dream is true. I cannot believe it. This is what I hoped for. And I said I didn't think they'll do it, but it just looks like they've just gone and done it. 16 by 10 display, that resolution is definitely 16 by 10. So it's going to follow the XPS 13 design. We're going to have new ports. It's definitely going to be a new design now. 16 by 10, I cannot tell you how much better that is than 16 by 9 for content creation. 16 by 9 is awesome for gaming, but not for content creation. 16 by 10 or 3 by 2 is better. So that alone is enough to turn your floppy into a solid state. No worries there. Now let's talk about the CPUs, because the CPUs have been leaked, okay? So these are the CPUs. It's going to be the Intel 10th generation. Yeah, I know, you're looking at those Ryzen parts and going, ooh, I like some of those, but um, we'll see what these bring out. We know they're not going to be as fast as probably the Ryzen. They'll be competitive, but there's some killer things with these. Single core, it's probably going to smoke the Ryzen's in single core. And a lot of stuff is single core because we're getting up to 5.3 gigahertz, okay, on single core. So that's cool. It's going to use more power than the Ryzen's. And I don't think it's going to compete on multi-core, but I think it'll be competitive. But there are some killer things here. If we have a look here, okay, first of all, 5.3, 5.1, wolf single threaded as we said it's got a new turbo boost technology whatever it's going to boost higher maybe for longer but the ram is faster ddr4 2933 megahertz you can see right there intel speed optimizer they spell optimizer wrong yes i know you americans gonna go crazy it should be an s come on i'm just kidding but it delivers a single one click overclock and let's be frank it's going to need that overclock to compete with the ryzen's there wi-fi 6 built in integrated so that's cool but have a look at this this is the killer thing right here right here right now 128 gigabytes ddr4 wolf so that means an xps 15 if you could get 64 gig sodims will be able to support 128 gig and that even means macbook pro as well not only that 40 lanes of PCI Express. 40 from 16 to 40. Why have you waited so long, Intel, to do this? That means whew, 
Imagine how many Thunderbolt 3s you could put on there. You could put 10 Thunderbolt 3s on, I think. Is that right? 40 lanes? That's amazing. So yeah, a big deal here. 128 gigs RAM, 40 lanes of PCI Express. So that's cool if you need it. Okay, so here are the CPUs that are going in it. These are definitely official. These are leaked. But there you can see 5.3 gigahertz, 2.4 for the i9. And then the i7, which will be going in it. The 10750H, which is over here um yeah 2.6 5 gigahertz six cores so with faster memory we already know from leaks the ninth generation i7 to the 10th generation i7 is 10 percent now the one that's supposed to get the big boost is the i9 because you can unlock it and if you can cool it down you'll get more than 10 percent but um yeah basically i7 for i7 it's going to be 10 percent but you need to remember it's a new design with the xps 15 so hopefully hopefully please some work done on the cool in there then there's that other thing we were talking about before this 1650 ti now one thing here it says it has four gigabytes which is a little bit disappointing to me but there's really nothing that dell can really do about this because it's a 130 watt package you cannot go any higher than you know a 1650 you can't go to 1660 you might say put more power in but the thing is now that this has a 16 by 10 display i hope i just don't hear this stuff that i hear all the time oh why don't you just get a razor or a aero which has a, like a rtx 2070 or whatever i don't want a gaming laptop when i buy an xps 15 and let me know in the comments is this is you as well but i can talk for only for myself i don't need the most powerful gaming laptop in the world i want something more Bauhaus than art deco i want something clean so when i think of what laptop i want i want a laptop that's like a macbook pro but it runs windows and the xps 15 is the only one that's like that you can get those other gaming laptops but they're not like the xps 15 or the macbook pro they got RGB keyboards, they're noisy, they're hot. I don't like the styling of them. Maybe the Razer, with the exception of that. I like the Mercury one of the Razer. It's not my bag, all right? Now, if you love them, that's fine. That's cool. We're all different. That's awesome. And I don't go chasing specs. I mean, the MacBook Pro is not the most powerful laptop in the world, the 16-inch, but it's one of the best laptops. With the XPS 15, it's my favorite laptop like they're my two favorites now that's got a 16 by 10 display i've always said the xps 15 is in a different class to all those gaming laptops so rant over this is a new part 1650 ti is a new part it's going to have a gd ddr6 so it should be faster now they're bringing out a ti because that's got to match the rx 5500 so this will probably be faster than a 5500 because that's what nvidia do all right they bring out you know skews in between skews just to make sure that they beat their competitor it should beat the 5500 but the disappointment to me is it's four gigabytes which is fine it's plenty ample if you're doing 4k and below but i do 6k now and i can tell you now with this macbook pro the eight gigabytes of video memory makes a difference also i'm capping out 32 gigs on the macbook pro that i'm using now if you don't know i've sold the xps 15 of course because i know the new one's coming out but if i had my time again with the macbook pro i'd get 64 gigs because now i'm working with 6k i can easily eat up 32 gigs now most people are working with 4k so it'll be no problem but i I am disappointed i was hoping for at least six gigabyte because the macbook pro has eight gigabytes of video memory so mm, i have no doubt it's going to be fast this graphics card for gaming you'll be able to play 60 fps pretty much high settings 1080p but i would have loved to have seen six gigabytes so to sum it up the new xps 15 probably won't get announced till halfway through this month that's when everything's been announced from the leaks probably won't be available till may if you're lucky and i would order straight away because we know it's happening toyota corolla of course but it's looking awesome new 16 by 10 display new design hopefully new thermals the new 10th generation cpus that can support 128 gigs with 40 lanes of pci express new 1650 ti graphics and hopefully please make a white one i want the white like the xps 13 please do that we also have here look at this xps 17 mamma mia 
9700 XPS 17. We again, it looks like a 16 by 10 display because we have 3840 by 2400. So we get an extra height there. Temp generation CPUs doesn't say anything about the graphics yet. Maybe they're going to put in supers. So one of the RTX supers, because it's a 17 inch, I would expect it to have more power, more like a 180 watt or something like that. But very interesting that it's getting benchmarked already. So I'm looking forward to the XPS 17 as well. So when it comes to Ryzen versus Intel, well, I'm happy that it's Intel. You know, you're going to get, we know Thunderbolt works with the Intel properly at least. 40 lanes of PCI Express, 128 gigs. That's all appealing to me. Do Would I like to see a Ryzen one next? Next year, well, Intel have Rocket Lake coming out next year and Tiger Lake. I'm getting conflicting information that there might be a 10 nanometer 45 watt part, or is it going to go Rocket Lake S, which is supposed to have Thunderbolt 4, PCI Express 4, which means double the bandwidth with Thunderbolt 4, which means pretty much no eGPU bottleneck. Maybe they might stay on Intel. I think what's happening now with the AMD, I think enthusiasts will get them first. But the mainstream, they like to stick with Intel. Let's be fair here. Most people, they know Intel, they trust Intel. They're just going to go to a shop and they're going to say, oh, get the AMD. They're going, what the hell's an AMD? That's just how it is. So if the Ryzen sell well and there's no nefarious activity where Intel are, you know, offering really attractive rebates for <laughs> Intel products so you don't buy AMD, which has happened. Intel have been fined for this, like billions, I think. That's going to happen, man. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It's cutthroat business. And just because Ryzen is faster at the moment doesn't mean in a year's time it will be. And it doesn't mean consumers will buy them. So... Yeah, we'll have to see where that sits. If Ryzen is successful, I'll be surprised if there isn't like a load of Ryzen laptops next year and the bulk of laptops being Ryzen because they got the battery life too. So, mm. anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm really excited about the next XPS 15 now. Can't wait. And I'll catch you in the next one. Telly ho.